And how are we going to fight climate change? You know, it's going to take a gigantic effort. We've got to make up for the time that we lost because we got out of the Kyoto Treaty the week after the president was in power. And this is serious. I mean, this is man-made. This is fossil fuels caused. And we've got to do it. This is the planet saying to us, uh, we need some relief. And that relief is a reduction of greenhouse gas emissions mandated, and America should take the lead. Who is going to restore that standing of our nation as a nation of laws and international law and respect and human rights and democracy and fair elections? Who is going to do something as president to make us energy independent? And it's tied to global climate change, and it's also tied to national security. I've been Secretary of Energy. We made energy efficiency a cornerstone in the Clinton administration. We didn't succeed in everything. We did get air conditioning 30% more efficient. It, it, it's effective. I, I see it isn't working here. Now. <laughs> but my point is that we need a president that is going to be dedicated to us becoming energy efficient. It's not going to be done, with all due respect to the Congresswoman, by, you know, little energy bills here and there. That'll help. It's going to be done by a major man-on-the-moon effort, Apollo-like program to reduce our dependency on foreign oil, which is 65%. And it's going to take, and, and let me tell you who the 65% is, Iran, Iraq, Venezuela, uh, Persian Gulf countries, Saudi Arabia, not exactly all of them are sterling friends.